Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, God of our going out and God of our coming in. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is in, within me, bless his God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of God's benefits. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing God's praises in the assembly of the faithful. Let us praise God with tambourine and harp. Praise God with trumpet sound, with strings and pipe. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. A reading from Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Our Minister of Music, Mike Britton, is leaving us but to begin a new chapter in his life. Retirement. There too, in the time to work, in the time to retire. Today marks the end of his music ministry at Emmanuel. It's time to look back and a time to offer good wishes for his future. It's a time to give thanks to God for the talents and gifts Mike has shared with us, especially inspiring our songs of praise, thanksgiving, and proclamation of the gospel. As Martin Luther has said, next to the word of God, Music deserves the highest praise. The gift of language combined with the gift of song was given to man that he should proclaim the word of God through music. We thank Mike for helping us to do just that. Mike, I've been asked to speak on behalf of choirs. I've been a member of the Emanuel Choir for 25 years, and during that time we've had seven choir directors. Some of them were organist choir directors, some of them were solely choir directors. As you can imagine, there was a rather diverse amount of personalities in the watch. So whenever we approached the point where we were looking for a new conductor, or or solely choir director, we're a little bit apprehensive up there in the choir lot. <laughs> However, uh, the summer before you came, Lee Pollock reassured us all, telling us Mike's a real peach, you're gonna love working with him. And that proved to be true. Uh, Mike has been extremely easy to work with from both standpoint as in the choir and as a solo as an instrumentalist with you. Um, Mike has shared the following gifts of the choir in the past four years. His enthusiasm for music. He loves what he does and it shows. His patience. He gently worked with us to produce a great sound, getting more out of us than we realized we could do. His genuine affection for the people in the choir. Our affection for him further motivated us to do our best. His faith. Whenever you see a choir director make the trip from the organ lot down to the altar in the morning, you know that he's on the same way, same wavelength as the rest of us. And uh, Mike even worked out a recording of the Lamb of God so that we could be singing at the same time he was coming up front so there wouldn't be so much silence at that point in the service. His good sense of humor from his very first rehearsal, we had a lot of fun. We worked in a relaxed and friendly atmosphere. We had a lot of laughs at times, no stress. And finally, we thank Mike for the new pipe organ. Many previous musicians had complained about the organ, but nobody took the bit between the teeth and ran with it, so to speak, as you did, to raise the funds necessary to pay for the new instrument that we have. This instrument is so much more flexible, allowing us to use it for a wider variety of music and periods. You can be very proud of leaving us that it's always difficult for a musician to retire. It's just in our genes to want to keep performing and sharing our love and music with others. I know you miss working with us, but you should be very proud of your little career. Making music to the glory of God. Thank you. Sharing our joys and 
sorrows these past four years. You've been important to our life together in the Church of Jesus Christ and our service to this community and God's mission to the world. As you leave this community of faith, we say farewell. We give thanks to God for our time together, and we pray for God's blessings on both you and Bill as you approach retirement and much needed time together, just enjoying life and God's blessings. So since, again, since last week, you guys are good at blessing people, I want to invite you all to come up. Invite you to come up and lay hands on Mike and Bill, um, and we're going to bless them and let them feel the strength of God's love and our love for them as they move into the future. And if you can't reach them, you can reach the person who is reaching them. So. May God the sower make you good and fertile soil. May Christ the seed bloom and grow in your words and actions. May the fruitful spirit bring forth a bountiful yield in your lives. And may God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. I invite you to join me in showing your appreciation for Mike and our love for Mike.